Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a countdown of the best, in my opinion, top 10 trailers of 2022. And we're going to count them down together. So number 10 was Elvis. And I'm not saying Elvis wasn't good as a movie or a trailer, but there were a lot of good trailers in 2022. Elvis was one of the most controversial trailer reactions of the past year on my channel. I was not expecting Austin Butler to be cast in this role, as I was not aware of his musical aptitude. But learning that he really went all in for the role, I realized he was born to play Elvis. And alongside his casting, Tom Hanks was also cast in this movie, and I was surprised by that, but he also blew my mind away and very much surprised me but austin butler of course was nothing but amazing he channeled so much of elvis's mannerisms his he changed his voice he was quite simply the best choice for this role and i was very surprised i had seen austin butler in other things such as the shannara chronicles and the carrie diaries but in those parts he never showed any musical aptitude you know as elvis is a beloved musician and singer you can't help but think wow anyone being cast as elvis isn't going to do it justice but surprisingly austin butler was born to play this role honestly, and I would never have guessed it, but he did a great job, and I have to take back all of the negative things I said in my trailer reaction, because as he put his all into this role, and he came prepared to knock it out of the park, which he did, and that is why this was my number 10. Number 9 was Barbie. Which, yes, it came out pretty late in 2022, and it will not be coming out until July of 2023. But the trailer came out, and it was, like, very surprising. The beginning showed a homage to Space Odyssey, I believe. Which, I mean, when I first saw it, I was like, what are they trying to do here? I was, like, very much caught off guard. But... Learning that Amy Schumer was originally going for the role was a surprise. Thankfully, Margot Robbie appears to be the embodiment of Barbie. And the movie looks like it's going to be a fun ride. Filled with color and whimsy. Ryan Gosling was also a surprising cast as Ken. Not that I don't think he's a good actor, but it just wouldn't have been my first choice. Like, Margot Robbie is, like, the most obvious choice possible, in my opinion, for this role. Like, I mean, it just makes sense. Not saying Amy Schumer wouldn't have done it justice and wouldn't. And it definitely would have been interesting to see her play Barbie. But, like, when you think of Barbie, I feel like everyone thinks of Margot Robbie. Like, she's stunning. She's a great actress. She just, she doesn't just play role. She becomes the role she plays. And it's just honestly fantastic. But overall, I'm looking forward to the movie. Of course, it's directed by Greta Good Gerwig, who is an amazing director. I'm, I'm so excited to see, like, the empowerment, the fun, the depth brought to these characters. I definitely think she's really good at bringing characters like Barbie and Ken to a new audience and a new generation in a very creative and immersive kind of way. Number eight, the Super Mario Brothers movie. So going into this trailer, I had low expectations. I'm a fan of Chris Pratt's. At least I used to be a big fan of Chris Pratt. I mean, you know, you know, going from Parks and Rec to Guardians. I mean, like, he became an action hero, basically. And, you know, he lost a lot of weight. And, you know, I think, I think he was cast as Mario because of his humor and his ability to, you know, improv and just bring, like, a whimsicalness to it character honestly but jack black as bowser and anya taylor joy as princess peach were both highlights of the trailer for me i mean i love anya taylor joy she she is just superb in everything she like i mean 
just amazing. Jack Black, of course, he's hilarious. I mean, I grew up with Jack Black in School of Rock. You know, I mean, he's just fantastic. And but Chris Pratt, I'm still a little concerned. But hopefully, as we get closer to the release date, my fears will be mitigated and subside. The choice of casting him as Mario was just very surprising. But everybody was surprised by that. Like, literally everybody. My brother, I was surprised by it. And his accent in this movie is just... Uh, it leaves something to be desired for me. And has and as the, you know, title role of the movie, he has big shoes to fill. But I'm hoping that his performance will surprise me slash the other actors will come prepared. Number seven, Megan. This movie just came out, but I have not seen it yet. From the moment my brother sent me this trailer, I was caught off guard to say the least and immediately intrigued by what I had witnessed. I, it, I mean, I was like, female Chucky much? <laughs> But as someone who isn't a huge fan of Chucky, I immediately was like, okay, this is creepy, but also very intriguing. Whoa. <laughs> Capturing the creepiness of Chucky while bringing a modern twist to the classic evil living doll trope was extremely exciting. Like, I mean, we've all seen Chucky and like different creepy like dolls, Annabelle and such. This gives me like, Japanese robot coming to life vibes, honestly, which is different and unique. And according to what I've seen from this movie, like, I mean, it looks really good. And Allison Williams, who is the main one of the main characters in this movie, she she really likes those scary movies. <laughs> she likes being in them. Man, I mean, who ha who hasn't wanted a robot best friend? I mean, I can't wait to watch it and the trailer just looks so amazing, honestly, that I'm just very intrigued by it. And some people would probably say, oh, it looks like this and that. But and I mean, I'm I mean, I'm usually the first person to say that. But honestly, I think it looks really good and I'm looking forward to watching it. Number six, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. My interest in the concept of multiple dimensions and parallel universes was ignited by this trailer. For one, I, I have a big passion and love for science, sci-fi. I mean, I grew up loving and still love to this day the idea of parallel universes, parallel dimensions. Like, I mean, honestly, I don't understand anybody who doesn't have any interest in those things because it's just, I mean, imagine the idea of an infinite number of like me or you, or like whoever out there. Like, I mean, there has to be multiple parallel universes for all of those choices that are made. I mean, it just makes sense in my mind, but I just, I love, I love it. It's so interesting, it's so thought-provoking, and this trailer was visually stunning and compelling. And the idea of seeing multiple versions of Doctor Strange piqued my interest immediately. Like, I mean, how can you not see the, the trailer for Doctor Strange the multiverse of madness and not like be like so excited like oh my goodness and of course bringing in wanda and having her be evil which was oh my god i mean i i mean if wandavision had come out in 2022 i'd be talking about it because oh my god it was so good so good but i love i actually love seeing wanda evil because it's interesting the whole thing was amazing the whole movie was great honestly like chef's kiss so good like oh my gosh like mm. number five the batman with my love of robert pattinson from movies such as harry potter i was surprised at the choice to cast him in this role i mean who would think that the sparkly guy from twilight would be cast as batman someday i mean that was never in the cards in my mind for him like ever and i was just blown away that he was chosen but i feel like he's a prime example of don't judge a book by its cover or don't judge an actor by one role he does especially if they've come a long way since which he has and it's amazing 
but ultimately he brought me a new appreciation for the character. He grounded Batman with a gritty dark realism, while Zoe Kravitz matched his tenacity and spirit to a T. I mean, oh my goodness. Their scenes are electric. Their chemistry is off the charts, and they just they just behave so surprisingly visceral around each other, and it's just so so entertaining to watch. I mean, I mean, full disclosure, I'm more of a fan of the Joker and Harley Quinn than Batman, but Robert Pattinson as Batman, man, like slow clap, like it's so good, and I just ten years ago I would've been like whatever Robert Pattinson as Batman like no no but love it and he brought it he brought the grit he brought the dark realism he brought everything and it was just spectacular action-packed you know they weren't trying to be like Marvel they were just you know bringing that dark you know Tenacity and it's just the spirit of Batman was really shown in that trailer and it was just chef's kiss Number four Hocus Pocus 2 Which if you grew up in the 90s like I did Learning of a sequel to one of the most beloved childhood Halloween movies of my generation brought me to my knees with apprehension and excitement Hocus Pocus Isn't just a movie for millennials like me. It's a tradition. It's a religion for some people. It's it's such it's such a, a hallmark. It's such an iconic movie. And generations to come are going to share it with their families and their children and their children's children. And it's going to last forever, in my opinion. And it's just so classic, you know? And I mean, how many Halloween movies can you name that are classics? I mean, yes, there are many. But for some reason, Hocus Pocus is just spectacular. And learning of a sequel, I was nervous, not gonna lie. Like, I was nervous. But I couldn't wait to see the sister's backstory. The idea of revisiting these characters after all these years was something I never thought I wanted, but I but it turns out something I really needed. I mean, especially after the panorama. Like, oh my gosh. I think we all needed just to be to be back in that world to revisit these sisters to have, you know, the addition of new characters was also an intriguing and thought-provoking inclusion. I was apprehensive of the new additions and after seeing it i i wasn't blown away by the performances not gonna lie but seeing the sisters back together was everything i could have wanted honestly like like you know honestly my nostalgia was fulfilled and i felt very very happy but after seeing this trailer i couldn't wait for the movie's release date and I couldn't wait, and I filmed my watch along of the movie, and it was awesome. Number three, Wednesday. Okay, first of all, as a 90s baby, growing up with the Addams Family brought a surprising level of whimsy and mystery to my life. We had all grown up with shows like Full House, Step by Step, you know, seeing the iconic American, you know, family in sitcoms. Adam's family was just such a breath of fresh air. The spooky and kooky tone coupled with the off-the-wall antics not seen from other sitcoms. It brought something new and different to the table. And I'm sure that the board meeting where it was pitched, I'm sure they were very apprehensive and concerned, like, a spooky, kooky, gothic family sitcom? You kidding me? But the trailer for Wednesday brought back those elements to the modern world with a twist. We would learn more about Wednesday Adams and her adolescence, her family ties, dive deeper into her psyche than we ever thought possible. 
And I think I think some people after watching the show would say that they didn't like the love triangle in the show. But with Tim Burton at the helm, I knew the love triangle I knew the love triangle wouldn't be as much of a problem because Jenna Ortega brought it. She is a standout. I mean, if you have watched this show or trailer and you don't think that, then you didn't watch it because she was amazing. She embodied the character of Wednesday Adams so perfectly. And she she really did bring a new level of depth to the character, you know? We understand the character more than ever before. We see her as a full-fledged woman who's growing up in this world of Nevermore and becoming a woman. And she's dealing with all these new elements in her world. And she's learning how to be a better person. While still being classic Wednesday. And I knew Wednesday would not disappoint. Rather bring a dark twist to this already morbidly entertaining series. And I just, I'm just so excited for season two. Number two, Hogwarts Legacy, which is a video game trailer only one in this list but i had to include it because i'm a huge fan of harry potter and when i heard the slight whispers of this game trailer coming out i was beyond words i really was i was like holy guacamole to witness hogwarts history through gameplay brought a new level of excitement to my life i mean i grew up with harry potter i grew up with the books i grew up with the movies and to re-enter a world i've loved for most of my life is nothing short of a true gift a new form of entertainment within the Harry Potter landscape is a new adventure for this lover of the wizarding world. Magic, fantasy, I love everything about Harry Potter. And my passion and obsession grew and grew until today. I mean, I still love and have a passion for Harry Potter. It's always going to be a part of my life. I have a tattoo for Harry Potter. I've been to the wizarding world of Harry Potter in Florida. And that was a chair on top of my love affair. And this game trailer awakened the inner cherry pit of admiration and love I've always had for this world. I mean, being able to walk through the Hogwarts castle and the Hogwarts, the Wizarding World, and learn about the history of it and be in that world again through a video game. It's so, I'm, I'm so excited to film gaming videos for you guys. I'm so excited to share the experience with you guys and I cannot wait for this game to come out. It's going to be amazing. So subscribe for more videos because I am going to be playing Hogwarts Legacy when it comes out in February. So watch out. And drum roll please. Number one best trailer of 2022. Are you guys ready? You're not ready. You probably are. Black Panther Wakanda Forever. With the phenomenal performance of the first Black Panther movie and the tragic passing of Chadwick Boseman, the expectations for the sequel couldn't have been any higher up on his pedestal. We all witnessed a phenomenon and we were all shooketh by Black Panther. I know when I first saw Black Panther, I was floored. T'Challa is amazing. And every character in these movies just brings it so hard because they know what's at stake. The trailer surpassed any expectations anyone could have had, along with stunning performances by the cast. I mean, I can't imagine filming a movie and dedicating it to a care to an actor who played the, the titular role of Black Panther. I remember where I was when I learned of Chadwick Boseman's passing. Ironically, I just learned that the restaurant I was at is closed now. But I was shocked. No one knew that he had colon cancer. The energy, the passion that he brought to the role while having cancer and not telling anyone, like, it's beyond words. And the heartbreakingly beautiful performance of Lift Me Up by the fabulous Rihanna, who I'm biased because I love Rihanna. Everything in the trailer was perfect. They not only captured the emotional and visceral depiction of birth and loss, but the vitriol of power and light that Chadwick Boseman brought to his performance of King T'Challa. The trailer brought us to tears, 
moved us and showed future filmmakers and audiences what a true work of art a great trailer can be. I truly believe that this trailer brought a new level of artistry to the craft of creating a movie trailer because it's about conveying emotion. You know, conveying a plot and a characterization and a story in a trailer is one thing. Bringing emotion that perhaps you never felt before or you weren't expecting to feel is beyond words. It's, it's, it's a human experience. It's being human. Simply put, film greats were looking down at all of us with such a big grin on their faces. Their pride shined through the clouds, through the screens, and touched our hearts. And lastly, my honorable mention is Top Gun Maverick. As a Tom Cruise fan, he brings it. He's an action hero. And he and the cast brought a modern take on an iconic movie. And if a naysayer watched the trailer, they would think, oh, this is about planes flying fast in the air and shirtless men. But the movie is about emotion. This movie managed to modernize an icon while elevating it to unfathomable heights. So there we have it. Those are my top 10 trailers of 2022. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I thoroughly enjoyed talking about these amazing, wonderful, exciting pieces of art that we call trailers. 2022 was a year. <laughs> Let's just say that for me. But it brought so much to the table for entertainment. I am 100% hoping for less remakes, not gonna lie, in 2023. But I have to give a remake credit because nostalgia is real. It sells. It sells big time. And I just love these trailers. And they're great. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, I will be playing Hogwarts Legacy once it comes out next month. So subscribe if you want to see me playing the game. I'm so excited for that. Let me know what your top 10 trailers of 2022 are. Let me know if you want to see more voiceover videos from me in the future. This has been really fun talking about these amazing trailers. So many good trailers. So little time to talk more. And I love you guys. And I hope you enjoyed. And give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. I hope you did. Let me know. And I'll see you in my next one. Peace.